Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to make your own homemade paint um, from an egg yolk. So here's an example of what I did on a rock. Um, what you can see how when it dries, it has a gloss to it and makes it look bejeweled. So this is how I did it. First thing I did was I got an egg and you have to crack the egg and get the yolk out. So this is how I do it. When I open up the egg, I make sure to like leave half of it like a little cup holding the yolk in there. And I just carefully go back and forth between the two egg halves, eggshell halves, trying to get rid of all the whites or the clear slimy part. So we for this project, oops, sorry. For this project, we want to just have the orange yolk. So get as much of that clear white stuff out. And when it seems like you've gotten it all out, I have to go get a different to go get a different cup. Okay. Then you're gonna pour your egg yolk. Doo -doo -doo. Pour your egg yolk in here. It should just be your egg yolk. And you see the white part? I'm gonna get that off. Mm. I'm gonna try to get that off. So if you decide to dry off part of your egg yolk, you'll just take a Scott towel or something. I'm getting a lot of that clear slimy off. I don't think you have to do this step, but if you're OCD like me, I'm not really OCD, but um, I mean, look, I popped it. That's totally okay. Once I pop it, I'm like, okay, I'm done with this part. So I use a half a teaspoon of water to mix into my one egg. Okay, I'm gonna stir that up. Sorry, I don't know where my camera is <laughs> on my phone. Okay, so you see how the consistency is a little runny? Um, that's good for painting, and this will be like a, it'll be like a watercolor. It'll be transparent and runny. So it'll be like a watercolor. If I wanted it thicker, which for the, the rock, I did all these dots. Ooh, where's my camera? There, I did all these dots. I probably, would have not put the water in it, and I'll show you why in a second. So after you've stirred that water into the egg, you'll wanna put your food color in it. So for however many different colors of, of food color you wanna use, you need that many bowl, you need that many little um, places for you to put the egg. You could use a plastic palette if you have one, I just used my daughter's teacup, little teacup set. And I only had three colors. And I was kind of bumming I didn't have a yellow or an orange because none of the colors of my rock turned out really bright. So I think even though you want yellow, the yellow of the egg isn't enough yellow. It dries clear actually. So you have to add uh, yellow to your egg yolk if you want yellow. So the first thing you want to do is find yourself a rock. If you're going to do this on a rock, you can do it on paper, but you can find a rock and you make sure you, you wash it and you clean it off and then you let it dry. So I'm going to show you the dot technique. Now, if your paints have sat for a while and dried, they'll be like, they might be a little lumpy because you've skimmed off some on the top that's dried. 
So once you get that off, then you have this liquid now. See how it's not lumpy on my toothpick? So I'm really into the dots right now. So I'm gonna demo the dots with the toothpick, whoops. The amazing thing about this paint from an egg yolk is that it's hundreds of year, years old, this technique. Um, the original recipe was probably a little bit different, but the basis for it is the egg yolk. The original painting masters from hundreds of years ago would use egg tempera, and this is where they would take the egg yolk, but then they would add powdered pigments. We're adding food color. They didn't have food color. And their paintings lasted hundreds of years with this media. So it's tried and true. It's been around forever. The binder in the yolk is really good for paints. Now, I don't know if it, get, if it gets rained on or snowed on how it's going to last. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rock outside and test it and see how long the paint lasts on it. So what I'm going to do at this point, since I want to add another color, but it's sort of bleeding and blending in with the first color, sorry, is I'm going to let the, like the bluish green that I put on first, I'm going to let that dry. And then I'll come back in with some other colors. It'll be easier to color inside without it bleeding. So, yep, there's that.
So what I'm going to do at this point, since I want to add another color, but it's sort of bleeding and blending in with the first color, I'm going to let the, like, the bluish green that I put on first, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll come back in with some other colors. It'll be easier to color inside without it bleeding.